Are you ready or are you looking to possibly sell your home? Selling your home is a big deal and whether you're upgrading, downsizing, moving jobs, have just any rhyme or reason to feel like, hey, it's time to sell my home, move on to the next part of my journey, then this is the video for you. Selling a home is a complex process, but that's why I'm making this video. So I'm Baggio, I'm a local real estate agent to uh, Western Washington, Tacoma, Seattle, Olympia, and I've helped a lot of people buy and sell homes, and I am here to just make sure that I'm just giving an informed video on how to maximize your home sale and make it as seamless as possible. If you like this video, make sure you like it, subscribe, comment below on what else you might wanna hear. Um, I'm always open to new ideas. Maybe not you, but if you feel like someone you know is looking to sell their home and this would be a good video for them, don't forget to send this and share it to them too. So let's go ahead and get to the big points that I wanna hit about selling your home. So I know you might be overwhelmed if you're already thinking about selling, um, but that is why someone like me, as an agent, I'm here, that's what my job is for, is to not make it stressful, to make it as easy on you as possible. And what I wanna do today is hit on five key points when it comes to selling your home. So number one, getting your home ready for the sale. That's obviously a big deal, right? And number two, finding the agent to do that and to partner with to get your home sold. Now, I think both those two kind of go hand in hand, to be honest with you. You can kind of put finding the agent first and then getting your home uh, ready for sale. Because honestly, someone like me, I take pride in being able to uh, give you some good, informed, quality advice on how to get that home ready for the sale. So um, anyways, we'll get a little bit, uh, dive deeper into those details. But number three, after those two steps would be pricing your home correctly, which again, the agent is there for you too. Number four is marketing that home effectively to an, uh, an expanded big audience to make sure that you have all the possible buyers looking at your home. And number five would be handling the offers that come in and ultimately choosing and closing the deal. So step number one, right? Getting that home ready for sale. That is really ultimately up to you, right? If you are, well, we like to say, if you wanna sell the home as is, which is really like, I, I don't wanna to touch it. I don't have the time, the resources. I really don't wanna deal with that. My family's living in here still. Like, I just want this sold how it is. Um, that is your choice. Now, if you are open to seeing what can I do to just kinda of get it fixed up, ready to go, cleaned up, staged, right? That is also a big deal, right? So think of it like, I mean, houses, and real estate is, they are, they are a big deal, right? But at the same time, it is, you still have to look at it as a product in some form or fashion that you're putting for sale. So, um, you know, you go to the grocery store, or you go to, you know, Target or whatever, and like you're looking and why are, you know, <laughs> why is this towel set like a lot more than this towel set. You know what I mean? Well, the quality, right? You'll probably look at the first thing is the quality. Same thing goes with your home. Like the better quality home, the more it's gonna sell for. So when you're, when you're getting that ready, when it comes to making updates, cleanups, you know, fi uh, finishing home projects, um, decluttering, those things like that, they go a long way to improving the quality when that house hits the market. Secondly, finding the right agent to help you sell your home. Now, I know that there's certain people out there that want to do it themselves, that think that, no, I can do it myself. I can literally, I know what this house is worth. I can put some pictures up from my iPhone and it'll just do the job. I'll put it on Zillow, I'll put it on Redfin. Everybody looks on that, they'll just find it and like it. Um, statistically, it's, Unfortunately, not true. Um, I'm an agent, right? We have a job, like we have a part in this industry for a reason, at least good agents, okay? So finding the right agent to actually help you sell your home makes a world of difference. So yes, you will be paying for the commission, but like any good agent can show you, 
the breakdown like hey you're paying me this but i'm doing this 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 for you and i am maximizing your dollar and maximizing your home so for me right if you come to me say bajo like hey i'm thinking of selling my home i want you to 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 sell it for me if you could be like awesome first thing i'll do is obviously we want to see what what the home is right We're talking about step one what's what's the product right then and there off the bat that agent should be able to give you some good quality advice on what to do to make sure hey we got, we got to do a couple things here to get it ready um for me i work for compass my brokerage compass we actually have a program to help home sellers get their home ready basically giving them a pay advance from the profit that they would get from their house so like if you financially feel like you don't have the money to put in for the home to get that home ready for the market guess what we can cover you temporarily and it's really like i said it's a pay advance to where you just pay that money back to compass at closing so it's really like you never even had to deal with that money in the first place but what that does is we like to show you hey you're gonna put this money in but guess what you went from let's just say let's just say a sixty thousand dollar profit to really you still walked away with eighty five thousand dollars or you walked away with seventy five thousand dollars right it would still you're still walking away with more than what would you would have in the first place so yeah all that being said right finding the right agent plays a big deal plays a big part in how you're maximizing that that uh that home sale moving on to the further steps it goes off of the agent it goes off of what agent you chose right so step three pricing your home correctly so ultimately like i said it is ultimately your decision but a great agent will make sure that that decision is almost made for you already with the stats the data and the um the evaluations that they can show you be like look this is what i've seen on the market around your home similar comps right comparables that we've been showing a cma comparable uh comparative market analysis we will show you what is what we think numbers wise because look it's an emotional decision i get it but numbers wise what can we get what is realistic what is going to be the optimal listing price to make sure that we get that home sold for top dollar for you so we show you all that ultimately you give the thumbs up and then we go with that price right now through the process when it's on the market and it's active let's say worst case scenario it's not selling it's not budging so like recently we had a crazy shift in the market right it saw it happened a lot it wasn't that things were like price wrong but it's just the market shifted crazy you do have the ability to lower it you do have the ability to raise it it happens um but you know i i foreshadow that to where hey if I don't want my clients to be surprised. So if that comes up, we have that, we already had the initial conversation and we go from there. So step number four, again, goes off to agent, but you can go hand in hand with that as well, is marketing your home effectively. So like I said, you're paying me to sell your home. Guess what? When it comes to the marketing, when it comes to like the staging, like I shouldn't be asking you to cover that stuff. That's me too already. You're already paying me for that. That's part of my services. So I'm gonna market it on social media email you know the zillow all the works the works right You're gonna have professional photography big part of it someone we shake our heads when we see iphone photos up it makes huge difference on 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 getting your home maximized right so professional photography videography for reels for videos to go on youtube instagram facebook all of that will be done with me should be done with a good agent you shouldn't have to be working, uh, worrying about any of the marketing portion unless you want to just share what your agent's already putting out. So again, marketing is huge. It plays a big part and it really goes with who you're working with. Lastly, handling the offers and closing the deal. So like I said, again, if you have a great agent, they should be able to handle those offers without you as far as analyzing them breaking it down for you line by line as simple as possible so that hey they can just show you look we got four offers here are the pros and cons to each here's the net profit of each here's the timeline of each and here's ultimately what it means for you right so you just it's just the brain work that they are there for that 
I'm here for that, that you shouldn't have to. But like I said, it still takes you looking at it because you're gonna make the ultimate decision with what you want. And then once you choose that offer, we're in escrow and we are going to the finish line, right? So the buyers have their you know, rights to the inspection, to whatever they have in the, the contract. So we go through the inspection, we negotiate, we go and make sure, hey, there was a repair needed to be done on the home. We get the people out there, make sure that it gets done. Um, and then we keep going, hopefully smooth sailing through with escrow to closing day. And guess what? That, you know, say that wire hits your account, you feel great, you feel happy, like, all right, on to the next one, next chapter of my life, and it was a success. Now, me personally, yes, I just helped you with selling your home, but you know what? I will still keep in touch with you, like, hey, how's it going? Any other questions? How's the, how's the new house doing? You know, how's, how's this looking? Like, um, I love to still reach out to past clients, even though it's like, yeah, I sold their home and it's done, but we're all human, right? We're, it's really crazy. You know, you're going through a big part of your life with someone. So it's like, it's, you get closer, it's more friendly. Maybe you're not, maybe I'm not your friend, but I'm friendly with you, right? And maybe you're friendly back with me. So um, I like to still keep in touch um, even after the sale. To wrap this video up, if you are looking to sell in Western Washington, if you know someone looking to sell, if you're just honestly looking to sell just anywhere in the US, but you need a referral, if you need an agent that you need to, that you want to trust, um, I have referral partners through the whole US that I know, like, and trust that would be able to, uh, you know, if I'm referring someone to that agent, like it's a big deal too, because my name is with that agent as well. So. Um, yeah, just feel free to reach out for any other questions, comments, concerns on when it comes to selling your home. Um, I'd love to help. I love any feedback. Leave in the comments below anything else you'd love to hear. Um, subscribe if you like the video. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in and talk to you guys soon.